China is waging cognitive warfare against the United States of America. I'm Mark Holden. Welcome back to the channel. Here we're going to talk about something very, very scary, and that's the increased use of cognitive warfare through China. So if you haven't met me yet, Mark Holden, welcome back to the channel. If you are a returning member, uh, I talk a lot about the U.S. defense industrial base, hybrid warfare, talk a lot about aerospace. So if you care about any of that stuff, I recommend you subscribe to the channel. I would love it. If you threw a comment in the chat, I'd love to hear what you think about this video. It's real. I talk about stuff that's real, and I'd love to hear from you as well. If you have uh, some thoughts about this, if you have a question, drop in the comments. If you like this video right now or towards the end of it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me get the word out here. So I'm Mark Holden, and let's dig into Chinese cognitive warfare. So China's social media attacks are part of a larger cognitive warfare campaign. So this is coming from Defense One, um, and they take note, the U.S. strategist must take heed of this important domain. So this is real. I mean, in an age where information is as potent as any physical weapon, this new front has opened up in the realm of global power struggles. China's recent surge in social media manipulation is not an isolated series of events. This is a cog in a large machine of cognitive and hybrid warfare. The goal? Influence public opinion. Influence policy by reshaping narratives and sowing discord. China's approach isn't blunt force. It's a precision strike in the mindscape, targeting perception in the decision-making process of its adversaries, mainly the United States. Through an intricate web of fake accounts, orchestrated propaganda, and deliberate misinformation, China's digital warriors operate in the shadows of the internet. They leverage the vital nature of social media to amplify their narratives and sometimes latching on to hot button issues with societies to drive a wedge between targeted groups. Now, China calls this information disturbance, but this method of warfare is subtle yet wildly far, far reaching. The exploits in the open nature of the democratic information systems turns our strength into a vulnerability. And as these campaigns grow more sophisticated, they blur the line between mere influence operations and outright aggression. The implications of this strategy are wildly profound and deeply unsettling. It means that the battlefields of the future may be just as much about hearts and minds of the citizens as they are about territorial conquests. So what can we do done to counter this silent encroachment? It's a constant, complex challenge that goes beyond the conventional military might. It calls for the robust defense strategy encompassing cybersecurity, media literacy, public awareness. As we navigate this evolving landscape of cognitive warfare, gosh, we got to be vigilant. The integrity of our institutions, the cohesiveness of our societies in the very essence of the democratic values of this country are at stake. In the end... Our response will not shape just the outcome of these silent battles, but also the future international relations in the digital age. So this is super important. We're going to keep an eye on this. If you're not familiar, TikTok is a great example of this. TikTok is a deliberate information operations campaign leveraged by the Chinese, one of the People's Republic of China, mainly the PLA, to reduce the cognitive abilities of our youth. Yeah, if you uh, you can follow some of my other content, if you look, I talk a lot about TikTok and hybrid warfare, but this is just one aspect of it. This is wildly important. You got to keep an eye on this. You have to educate people. You have to educate your children. You have to educate your partner. You have to educate your friends and your parents. Because gosh, I don't know about you, but the last time I had my boomer parents over, they just spent their whole time on their cell phone. They are very much susceptible populace here. The young and susceptible populace. And we have to be vigilant. So keep an eye on this and follow me for more. I'm going to be talking a lot about this. It's very clear and present that China is not playing around. They're playing the long game, long game and cognitive warfare is here to stay. So join me as I continue to discuss and unravel the scary nature of this hybrid warfare we find, our, we find ourselves in. So I'm Mark Holden. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you got something to say to me, go ahead and drop it in the comments and if you enjoyed this and you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you join our community and subscribe. So again, I've been Mark Holden. Keep an eye on this. Check out my other videos for more and have yourself a great day.